diabetes mellitus. It is a disease in which blood sugar levels rise abnormally because the body does not produce enough insulin to meet its needs. The main role in the development of the pathology is played by insulin, a protein neptide hormone of the pancreas. It is responsible for maintaining normal blood glucose levels, ensuring that it reaches the cells of tissues for their nutrition. Diabetes mellitus is a metabolic disorder. Depending on the type of disease, either the pancreas does not produce enough insulin, or the body loses sensitivity to it. As a result, glucose does not reach the cells, but accumulates in the blood. Tissues experience energy starvation. According to various data, about 7% of the world's adults have diabetes today. And this number is growing. At the same time, 25% of people with diabetes are not even aware that they have this problem. They go about their business quietly and don't pay attention to the first symptoms. Meanwhile, diabetes is gradually destroying their bodies. Signs of Diabetes It is important to understand how you can detect the disease in its early stages. Many of the symptoms of diabetes appear quite early, but some of them occur in a hidden, mild form. This part, people in most cases do not take seriously, so it is important to monitor your health and in time to respond to the slightest changes in the body. Deterioration of Vision As a rule, a sharp change in the concentration of glucose in the blood leads to jumps in visual acuity. This is caused by changes in the curvature of the lens and specific damage to the nerve coating of the eye, the retina. Among the characteristic symptoms are the frequent appearance of floating spots in front of the eyes. It also makes it difficult to read and work at close distances from the eyes. Deterioration of the general condition or progressive diabetes mellitus can subsequently lead to the development of temporary myopia. However, if blood glucose levels normalize or become significantly lower than they were before, visual function will stabilize. Diabetes mellitus. This is a disease that leads to the manifestation of so-called diabetic retinopathy, resulting in damage to the blood vessels of the eye fundus. This leads to deterioration of visual function and in some cases can cause blindness. When the blood vessels are affected, blood stops flowing to the retina, so it is important to see a doctor in a timely manner to prevent a sharp decrease in vision. It is important to note that decreased visual acuity in the majority of cases is observed in patients with moderate or severe diabetes mellitus. The main danger of diabetic retinopathy is that taking insulin or anti-diabetic drugs offers no guarantee that the current situation will not get worse. Darkening of the skin or black acanthosis. Black acanthosis appears as dark brown patches of darkened skin in the neck, armpits, groin, under the breasts, or on the inside of the wrists and fingers. At the same time, if you stretch the skin, it is white between the folds. In addition, it may also localize around the small joints of the hands, jaw, or knee joints. The skin manifestation is associated with impaired insulin sensitivity, which is seen in type 2 diabetes mellitus. Severe dryness of the skin. Dry skin is caused by excessive fluid excretion through the kidneys. When there is a lot of glucose in the blood, it is excreted in large quantities through the urine, but glucose pulls water with it. Therefore, when blood glucose rises chronically over a long period of time, the body becomes dehydrated. This includes skin dehydration. Also, diabetes reduces immunity, which is reflected in the skin. If the skin remains dry for a long time, there is a great risk of skin cracks and infections. Particular importance should be given to dry skin on the feet. In the development of chronic complications of diabetes, such as diabetic polyneuropathy, there are problems with thermoregulation, namely with perspiration. The skin on the feet may also thicken due to excessive keratinization, and with the addition of dryness, there is a high risk of cracking. Although diabetic polyneuropathy reduces the sensitivity of the feet, which increases the likelihood of injury and the formation of ulcers, reduced local immunity and dehydration is also reflecting the skin of the face. Many black dots and blackheads may appear on it. Chronic Fatigue This is a sign that is not usually taken seriously. The feeling of fatigue does not recede even after a good night's sleep. This is an alarming symptom of the development of certain pathologies, among which is type 2 diabetes mellitus. When glucose enters the blood, the blood sugar level rises sharply and insulin lowers it. During this time, people with diabetes feel tired and sleepy. Sudden Weight Loss Sudden weight loss is one of the first signs of a developing disease. Therefore, it is important to pay attention to it. 
In type 1 diabetes, to eliminate glucose that has failed to be utilized, the body increases urine excretion. As a result, the body loses fluid and nutrients. In addition, with this pathology, glucose is not supplied to the tissues, so the body is forced to use muscle and fat tissues as a source of energy. This can lead to a body weight loss of 10 to 15 kilograms in one month. Weight loss may be accompanied by symptoms such as weakness, intense hunger, and frequent dizziness. Constant thirst. The condition when a person constantly wants to drink water in large quantities is called uncontrollable thirst. This symptom is in most cases accompanied by an increase in the amount of daily urine, sticking of the tongue to the palate, dry lips, and mucous membranes of the oral cavity. The constant desire to drink fluids is a direct consequence of the constantly increased osmolarity of the blood, which occurs due to an increase in the concentration of glucose. As a result, this leads to irritation of the thirst center receptors in the brain. People with diabetes can drink several glasses of water at a time. Moreover, the amount of liquid does not depend on the temperature outdoors or indoors. The constant sensation of thirst may also bother you at night. For this reason, people with this pathology often keep a bottle of water near their bed. If severe thirst is regularly observed in children, it may indicate the development of type 1 diabetes mellitus. Typically, middle-aged and elderly people have similar symptoms as a result of developing type 2 diabetes. In addition, quite often people tend to quench their thirst with sugary carbonated drinks or juices that contain high sugar content. Due to this and other chemical additives, one wants to drink even more. Therefore, in cases of diabetes, their consumption should be limited. In severe cases, the volume of water consumed per day may be up to 8 liters. The frequency of urination may increase up to 15 to 20 times a day. Skin itching. Skin itching is one of the symptoms of chronic hyperglycemia. Its appearance is associated with irritation of nerve endings in the skin due to excess glucose in it. In addition, itching can be a symptom of the progression of diabetic nephropathy or diabetic neuropathy. Because of the constant itching of the skin, including in sleep, the person may scratch the skin, thereby infecting it. With constant hyperglycemia, the resistance to infection is reduced, so the risk of inflammation is many times greater. Lipoid Necrobiosis with lipoid necrobiosis, red-brown or purple spots appear on the skin, which gradually enlarge and often have a yellowish tint in the center. The skin thins due to atrophy of the epidermis, and the dermal and subcutaneous vessels become visible. Affected areas may become pitted. These changes most often appear on the front of the lower leg, but they can also occur on the skull, face, and hands. Wounds that won't heal for a long time. Diabetes mellitus slows tissue regeneration due to the fact that the body disrupts the formation and delivery of necessary substances in the wound area, and toxic products of metabolism are poorly eliminated from the body. The weakened body of the patient is not able to actively resist pathogens, which increases the risk of infection and festering of the wound. Diabetic Foot Syndrome when the peripheral nerve endings are affected, the skin of the feet will no longer feel pain, temperature changes, or touch. This threatens a high risk of injury. A patient can step on a sharp object, get a burn, rub the leg, and not feel it. Disruption of capillary blood flow dramatically reduces the ability of wounds to heal. That's the end of this video. We remind you that it's very important to monitor your health and in time to respond to the slightest changes in the body, to see a doctor in time, to avoid serious consequences. Be healthy.